Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm hoping that you're all having a beautiful, wonderful day. Sorry, the camera was shaking a little bit. I'm driving right now. Um, so, <clears throat> we know that the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Now, I want to say this is this is something I had heard. Okay, I'm giving the credit to John Piper. Okay, if you haven't heard of John Piper, please listen. I, I would say I would advise to give him a chance of listening to him because he said something that's just. I don't know if anyone can argue it. So, here's here's what it is. Here's what John Piper had said, and I it it moved me spiritually. It moved me very very strongly. Right. So, <clears throat> this world. I'm quoting him. This world exists with its pain, with its suffering with its sorrows, with its death, so that Jesus Christ could have a place to die and suffer for all of our sins. Now just think about that. We all go through pain we all go through suffering. We all deal with losing loved ones, friends, family, um, neighbors. We all lose people. There's always death. There's always um, some kind of suffering, you know, illness. There's everything. It exists. Because that's what Lord Jesus Yeshua went through. And he is our salvation. John 3.16 For God so loved the world <clears throat> that he gave his one and only begotten son so that for that whoever, for so whoever believeth in him though he were dead we shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay? That's John chapter 3, verse 16. <clears throat> and then, once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14. Talks about believe. Believing. Believing in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. He will save you. He will direct you. He will guide you. Prayers work. And repentance is key. You do not want to be left behind. Do not want to be left behind. I know I do not want to. And um, I just want it to be a word of encouragement. And I hope that this touches people's hearts. I love you all, and um, I hope you all have a very, very good, great, a very, very great Thanksgiving. God bless you all. Amen.